Hi everyone, my name is Melvin Otieno, uh, the founder of Planetary Health Eastern African Hub and an associate team member of Women Leaders for Planetary Health and also a Planetary Health Alliance Next Generation Fellow. I'm so grateful to Dr. Susan's uh, invitation to attend to this conference today. And my topic of discussion is adapting to a changing environment, inspiration from the Eastern Africa. So I will share this based on uh, two uh, countries, uh, that is Zambia and uh, Kenya. Uh, for Zambia, we're going to focus mostly on the energy use in a village called Matero in Lusaka in Zambia. So if Zambia and the rest of the Sub-Saharan Africa mostly depend on traditional biomass, such as firewood and charcoal, and there is an unsustainable harvest and use of charcoal, firewood that has adverse health effects on the environment. So 3.8 million premature deaths are caused by household air pollution, that is in 2016, according to statistics. And uh, University of Zambia, in partnership with the Osaka City, embarked on a project to study the unsustainable energy consumption. And it was really amazing to learn that uh, the community had to adapt to environmental friendly and healthier sources of energy for cooking and heating. So the residents of uh, Matero showed their willingness to adapt to these other healthy sources of energy. And through that, they have come up and worked closely with the Climate Research Initiative and they've switched from charcoal and firewood usage to using cooking stoves heated by locally sourced uh, pellets as shown in the diagram there. And my second case study will focus mostly on uh, the indigenous community affected by Lake Bogoria water rise in Kenya. So the indigenous community of Lake Bogoria are one of the communities from one of the Rift Valley Great Lakes. And despite the challenges that they have been faced as a result of flooding, they have been able to change their ways of handling these climatic conditions through adapting to different changes. For instance, the way their house were made previously were made of mud, but they have switched to usage of iron sheets and also um, some made of stone. And the community health workers have also created awareness and uh, offered educational programs to the community members to learn more about how to adapt to vector borne diseases. Uh, by this, they've been able to initiate mosquito repellent and also sesame fly repellent using medicinal uh, plants and also some are made of cow dung, for instance. So they had to smear the body to avoid being stung by these uh, two vector vectors. So the communities also have shifted to more resilient foods and production and come up with income, other income generating activities, apart from them depending on tourism alone. So the women have been able to give in a platform to also come up with their, to have a hybrid uh, livestock instead of the indigenous uh, livestock that they used to have. So in order for you to learn a lot from the community, I would like to urge everyone to work closely with the community and be able to learn a lot from them. Because uh, if you want to bring change concerning climate change or tackle these issues, we need to work closely with the community. So I have also, uh, with the Hub, we've also recently did a, um, a, a documentary on communicating the impacts of climate change through attendance. I uh, will be able to share my uh, the links and I'm looking forward to your questions. Um, thank you so much. In the meantime, you can join us and become a planetary health advocate uh, with the Planetary Health Eastern African Hub and follow us on social media platforms, that is Twitter and Facebook. And also you can learn more about our activities through our website.